Oh, wow, well, thank you so much for that most rousing welcome. Uh, don't worry, everyone. I've got a really good feeling about this. No, truly, the good news is I'm a, I'm a real uh, crack up. And so I, I can't foresee an instance in which this goes badly. I'm actually recording all of it on my phone. <laughs> on the off chance I say something funny, which I would want to repeat at another fundraiser. Got a big gig uh, for Nikki K next week. I booked it two weeks ago. Things were different, you know. <laughs> Lost a lot of confidence! I'm just going to cover her in paper mache <laughs> and then paint Chloe's face. No, oh, can I say this by the way? Uh, what a joy it is to be back amongst precedented times. <laughs> Remember that? Remember for a minute, <laughs> between us, we quite simply could not find a precedent. But now we're bathing in this stuff. You can barely move for precedent. And it's so good. You look at other countries, it's like they've become obsessed with living without precedent. They, they seem to love it. Take a look at us. It's going great. No, I did nothing with my unprecedented time, I tell you. Six weeks in lockdown. Lock, lock lockdown. What? I started drinking white wine at 5 p.m. What? You get what you pay for, which in your case is thirty dollars, and in Tim's case is zero. I didn't do anything with the six-week opportunity afforded to me by circumstance. The only thing I did is I found out that the it turns out the one big thing uh, holding me back from greatness is actually not time. No. It is natural ability and work ethic. Didn't do a fucking thing. Didn't even, didn't even occur to me to look for a vaccine, you know. Just assume someone else is on that. But I did, I did think about it. I did think about the vaccine. What I kept thinking was... What would happen if the vaccine for COVID-19 turns out to be the one vaccine that actually does cause autism? <laughs> It'll be a messy press conference. <laughs> well, good news and bad news. <laughs> a lot of people are gonna be very happy for all the wrong reasons. Just six weeks of sitting around with my thumb up my ass. I came up with an idea for a sitcom. Uh, it's about a family. Please, no one take this idea from me. I really need it to work. I say this. I will. You can beg me not to. But I'll say it anyway. Uh, if, if some food, if some food arrived in front of my face without context, <laughs> I would not eat it. <laughs> and that is how I know I'm better than a fish. <laughs> <laughs> now look, here's the truth of the matter, guys. I've been working hard uh, on this list. So, I've written, what do you like better, numbers or letters? Letters? What do, you, what do you like letters so much for? You love books. <laughs> I hate that the context of this gig means you got a bigger response than anything I've said in my fucking life. 
I'm gonna introduce you to a math book sometime, it'll blow your fucking mind. It's the same books you know and love, but with <laughs> numbers? Anyway, I wrote this list, it's an alphabetized list. It's the A to Z of healthy eating. And I'm just gonna read it out. The thing with eating, because do, you know do you know this? Arnold Schwarzenegger once said, abs are made in the kitchen. And you know, he should know. <laughs> the guy's a fantastic cook. So, here it is. You didn't know that? Read a book, Livy. <laughs> Fucking Jamie Oliver in there. <laughs> anyway. The A to Z of healthy eating. Here it is. A, I'm going to do the whole thing. 26. <laughs> it's a number. <laughs> Coincidentally, the same number for how many letters you get it. Okay. A is for avocado. Have a lovely avocado. Su a super food and a super food. <laughs> is for Brussels sprouts. Talk about the comeback story of the decade, huh? <laughs> Ten years ago, total write-off. Now you pay $12 for six. Unbelievable. <laughs> C is for corn. Now, I don't know why we continue to eat corn in spite of the overwhelming body of evidence that we cannot digest the stuff. <laughs> You know corn has bigger plans than being eaten by us when you look at corn in the toilet and it looks right back at you like, yeah, what? What else? Don't you dare push that button! <laughs> Me nuts and sees he's got big plans! D is for dried apricots. So my apricot heads would have been furious they didn't get the nod over avocados. Snuck him in on a technicality. E is for egg. Egg, yeah, here we go. Great, well, Grace was a high quality protein. Nothing wrong with an egg. F is for fried egg. Fry that egg. <laughs> G is for guava. Lovely fruit to save. Fantastic fruit to eat. Also, pretty good word to play in Scrabble. <laughs> the G and the V were both, there were five. <laughs> The other's worth three, but if you can get that in a position with a triple letter and a triple word, because you know they multiply the letter before the word. Unbelievable. I wouldn't have done that, but Alfred Butts, the inventor of Scrabble, he, yeah, anyway. H. H is for hard boiled egg. Put that egg in water! I is for ice cream. You've been doing so well so far. Have a treat. Have an ice cream. J is for jalapenos. <laughs> That's a J so soft it's barely there at all. K is for kidney beans. Not my favourite bean, but it does start with a K. L is for lemon. Not a main dish. You'll embarrass yourself. M is for hmm. <laughs> uh, maybe it's time for another egg. <laughs> N is for no, no thanks, no, I've just had three eggs. <laughs> o is for O. Oh, all right then, no, I will actually, I'll have one, I'll have one more egg. P is for pear. What are you saying? Poached eggs. I think eggs have been given a pretty fair shake of the stick. <laughs> Q is for quiche. You make yourself sick if you have too many eggs. <laughs> R is for rice. S is for soft boiled eggs. Why should hard boiled eggs have all the fun? Let that yolk run baby. T's for tomatoes, my favorite vegetable. Yeah, I knew people, people always say, it's, a, it's pathetic really what you're doing, isn't it? <laughs> I 
Oh, it's a fr- Oh, 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 oh. I must apologize. This changes everything. U is for unsalted nuts. Handful of nuts every day. That's good for you. Handful of salt. That, that's gonna. That, well, that's, that'll make you sick. Uh, B is for vegetables. Like a tomato. W is for water, not a food, but undeniably a drink. <laughs> Curly into the alphabet now. X is for X. Y is for, uh, well, why not have another egg? And Z is for Zodiac, as in Mike Hosking is the Zodiac killer. And look, I, I gotta go. I've gotta leave, but before I do, I just, I really have to tell you this. So I'm, I all going well. I'm actually taping that particular joke uh, for TVNZ on Sunday night, and I had to send it to their legal department. And I got an email back yesterday. They have to clear whatever you say. I got an email back yesterday that said, this is what it said. It said, "Hi guy, one note back from legal for your set. Just require a bit of background as below. Mike Hosking is the Zodiac killer." <laughs> What's the connection here? Are there allegations that Mike Hosking has murdered people and sent cryptic notes in relation to the murders? Let us know. Cheers. Thank you very much. Vote for Chloe Swarbrick.